Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Curse the Eye of Isis. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we were trying to find Vivian's desk, but instead we had only found a big old, like, chunk of weird yellowy mist. And, uh, we're going to attempt... Try to find our way back to the library. That way's locked. Was this... Oh, okay, this way was just open. Are you the library? No. But that one said locked, which leads me to believe that we will be back. As uh, this... Elevate were. No, why not? See where it goes. Maybe Sutton's desk is... I don't know, separate office from the library. Don't know how many bashy bashy noises were going on, but hey. Um... Yeah. I really wish that these were more legible at the distance. New collection Egyptian exhibit. Hi. One of the chandeliers going to come crashing down next. After a fashion of raindrops falling on my head. Hmm. More bodies. By you. Where is am I? That is some distance from the uh the rest of the map. Of important note, by the way, I cannot actually look at the rest of the map. Like that section of the map? That's the that's the section of the map you're stuck looking at. D-pad? No. L and R buttons do nothing. New collection. New exhibit. Okay, that one will just not open. I was well, trying to read that board. Alright. How about this one? I suppose this is me too, or just me, maybe just me. Heavy stone sarcophagus, it's edge scarred by clumsy attempts to steal the contents. That's a shame. But like, okay. We see on the map where it is we can go by the grave doors. We don't see on the map where we can't go because the door is locked or if it is just unpassable. Like there doesn't seem to be a difference between the two. Whether it's just locked or if it's will not open quote unquote. Well, hi. You'll have to pardon me if I don't get a little bit paranoid about the mummy. Yep. Darn it. 
I guess that the zombie mist, mummy mist, whatever you want to call it, can inhabit any corpse, I guess. Oh, and the mummies actually just go away. Good. What's this? An amulet. Always a, a good idea to take the amulets off of the, uh... Let's see, instead of during mummification, these mysterious objects appear to possess a powerful charm. Oh. Full heal. Good to know. I would have liked to know about that as I was trying to go through here. Oh, I get how it works now. Okay. So, that yellow meter is reduced by Moonfall. But as long as that yellow meter is dropping down, then I am suffering damage. Good to know. All right, well. Wait. Is the great door there indicated that it was openable? Was it not? I was slightly miffed at that because I was pretty sure that that door was indicated gray, which means that it could be opened. Change any of these doors? Please run. I'd be a change of these doors in just a hot second. Let the aiming vertical. Excuse you. Yeah, I don't feel like that these are uh, an individual that you want to get close to. Although I see an amulet in its chest. bearing mummies. Got it. Now there was someone that was running over in this direction. I want to double check on them first. Hi. You appear to be alive. Thank you for saving me. Please take this. You can make better use of it than I have. I... Oh. Pistol. Wait. I'm gonna hope that this pistol actually has a faster reload speed than the, uh... Yeah. At least Gord evidently has some a lot of action. Cool. Oh, we got a different gun. A better gun, theoretically. I say better gun, if only because of the ammunition count. Because, yeah, knowing me, I'm... I'm gonna miss. Uh, I'm gonna miss. Where the hell am I going? Bye. Well done, young master Dane.
Yeah, I sort of how it was well done, just uh, Jesus. Pain, loads of pain. Now we can go this way. There we go. See, it doesn't matter how close it is, as, or if they're too close, you just have to shoot me at the right time. I like the fact that they're dropping the amulets, though. Alright, they were clearly trying to get in here, so maybe I can be all knock knock. Feels infinitesimally easier to use than the rifle was. Take the amulet. Alright, so where. Why the heck could those other two not get in here? Oh, you're on fire. house all right one down thank you yeah not too shabby Paper scattered everywhere. Play a little diddly ditty on the piano. Hello, sir. Would you kindly let me in, away from all the other mummies? Oh, who's there? Don't come any closer. I ain't coming out. Oh no. I lost my glasses. They was chasing me. I can't see nothing without my glasses. I ain't coming out, I say. Fighting with fire. Yeah. They ain't natural, see. Those inventions in the Eaton Combustion Exhibition. Aim throwers. Fighting with fire. It's their only chance. Oh dear me, I can't see nothing. A young lady, you say. Here, yeah. you find me glasses and I'll help you find her. I ain't going nowhere without my glasses. I don't think he's going anywhere without his glasses. Yeah, call it a hunch. Okay. Warm men fall. That's actually quite lovely. Yeah, I guess the rule of thumb is just don't walk into any of the, um... I'm walking into any of those blasted freaking. What the hell am I? It's like a barracks in here. Yep. Like a guards station? Break room? I have it for more smelling salts, so I'll, I'll take them. Yeah, it's like a breaks room for the guards. How? 
I gotta wonder just how rigorous the day of a guard in a museum is in order to have them need to take naps. <laughs> I don't know, 1870s, 1860s, 1870s, I don't know what the hell their life was like in the slightest. I really should watch The Mummy after this. Alright. Dude lost his glasses. I guess we're gonna help him find his glasses. How far could they have possibly chased the dude in order to have him lose his glasses? I mean, I can't speak to how glasses were built back in the day, but you know, my glasses tend to stick on my face no matter how far fast I attempt to run or jog or whatever. Hello. Yeah, stop that. You done? I probably should have swapped over to my baton, but eh. Other dead dude. <clears> that <throat> guy was a bit chonkier to try to deal with, too. What, it took like eight bullets in order to put him down? We are in great danger. Keep looking, Darian. Oh. Here it contains a quantity of combustible paraffin. If you had a suitable container, it could be re. Replenished here. Oh, for the flamethrower. Gotcha. This is the desk? This is where I can save my game. I was hoping to be able to finally use this key. Hmm. Well, I love this for us. I need to find a container. Also, why the hell? You know what? It's fine. <sighs> back through there, back up the stairs, I guess? We're in great danger. We sure are. Hmm. Actually, no. Am I thinking wanting to watch The Mummy again? Or Indiana Jones? 4K no las dos. I haven't gone up the stairs yet. To be fair, I was rather busy with mummies before thinking about going up these stairs, so... Yeah. Oh, this is the... Zip. Hi, Osiris. Osiris, immortalized as god of the underworld. According to myth, Osiris was cruelly murdered and later dismembered by his jealous brother, Seth. Can we stop breaking things? Hmm. Ah, glasses. Do I follow the creepy... I'm, I'm gonna follow the creepy 
mummy mists. Like an idiot. Like a good idiot. Let's players are there. I guess I'm going back to Kimble. Mind me while I is while I check every freaking nook and cranny and corner. I'm going to foresee by having miss like a weapon or something. I'm not sure what. Alright, this is going to be me going to do Kimball's whole thing and hope that Abdul is just going to follow me. Because, man, watch, watch Abdul be some sort of a secret order trying to keep the eye of Iamnesis out of the hands of evil. I lost my glasses. Hey, uh, ain't coming out without glasses. And I'm level 120. Okay. I ain't complaining. I'm just all right. And apparently, those fit in both my pistol and the rifle. They was chasing me. I can't see nothing without my glasses. I ain't coming out. I say. I had to wait until he was done talking. Got it. Oh, mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's much better. You're uh, looking for the young lady, then? Yes, I, I saw her earlier. She was accompanied by one of the police officers. They were heading for the ISIS room to check on the new exhibition. Cheeky blight that demanded I hand over my key. Sixty years I've worked here. There's a spare key, but it's locked in the safe behind me, and, well, I can't remember the code to open it. The code book is in a staff room on the ground floor. Oh, I remember that much. But make sure you've got them flamethrowers from the heat and combustion room. Fight them with fire, yeah? Come back here, and we'll get the spare key out of the safe so you can get to the ISIS exhibition. I guess that's not a terrible trade. Um, you now the question is which way to the heat and combustion room? I'll oh, probably all the way... First off, all the way in the freaking start of the goddamned area. I'm gonna loathe whenever the hell they decide to start animating the dead that happen to have guns on hand. Boy howdy, that is just gonna be... I'm not gonna say my worst nightmare. It's not gonna be a fun time, I'll say that as such. All right, heat and combustion. Man. Well, as most of these were not labeled, this is collectibles and not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to read this: the new collection in Egyptian exhibit. Also, it's just me. No, okay, that lid is still down. I feel like I'm jump scaring people every single time that I go into the menu. Because it just starts. Dum, dum, dum. Not open. Okay, that's, that's a big exhibit. Exhibition. I wonder if I can break open those inks.
This one's just straight up locked. And I can't tell if that's the wrong position. Back to the atrium then. I will say at the least so far, anyways, that getting from one place to another around here ain't that bad. Yet. Alright. Dude was looking at them weird, I'm like, mm, they have something in them. I guess I gotta go all the way back to the atrium, through the elevators. Which is always fun. I was about to say... Like, literally, just about to say, hey, I wonder when the enemies are gonna start respawning and whatnot. I'm trying to go. Now I just want to follow this dude. Uh huh. When I come back down this way, he's going to be alive and kicking, hasn't he? Okay, so this was this. My only thought is either that was a safe way to go around it, or... I don't know. I just gotta pump all the moonfall into my face in order to get through there safely. Pretty sure I'd done you in. Of the fine work of guns. Would really love, though, if there was some sort of alternative methods of saving besides just waiting for a duel to come around. Dude's cool and everything. Alright, must be downstairs. One of you is the pathway to the firearm stuff. Was it you? Okay, nope, that one was just not open. You gotta remember, too, most of these pathways would be. Law enforcement through the edges. Most of these pathways would be, I guess, mirrored. Right. I'm going this way. I won't lie, I'm mostly hoping that Abdul is going to pop up again as I'm trying to head back in this direction to the things that I could not previously open. Staircase. Where's this one go? Library. Can't open that library one yet.
Do I have a clue where I'm going? Not one bit. Partially because we haven't even... I don't even remember if we had seen a sign that says, Hey, here's all the combustion stuff. Which I'd be very grateful if I had, like, a pamphlet to tell me, to show me. See why it would all be camera. Abdul's not back here, is he? He's moved on to the new place, which makes sense. Only makes me a little bit agitated, is all. Yeah, this goes back. Alright, so that's that door. <sighs> Aggravating. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return. Where the hell was the place for combustion stuff? We'll find out. Maybe if I don't go insane. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Cheers.